This one she paid $2.50 for at St. Vincent's Thrift Store and took best offer of $505. We'll put that at the end in the bloopers. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. My name is Courtney, also known as Boa Buddies. And in this video, I am going to feature a YouTuber reseller on eBay. And she has amazing bolos. And I'm going to start out with a couple that I just thought were interesting, kind of weird, maybe something you wouldn't typically list. They are not huge money, but I like the weird. So we're going to start with that. And then we are going to work our way up to some big money bolos. So let's get started here. I'm going to tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. In this video, I am going to be talking to you about Childhood Finds. And this is her YouTube channel. She has a newer YouTube channel. She's got 36 What Sold videos up and she has great videos. So definitely go and subscribe to her. I'm going to link her down below. Along with her YouTube channel, I'm also going to link her eBay store. And she ranges from a bread and butter reseller to a big money bolo reseller, just like me. Lots of variety, and you'll really enjoy the things that she has listed. So definitely go and give her a follow. How do you follow an eBay store? Well, what you do is you click on that heart and you save the seller. When you do that, you're going to get um, notifications when they list new items. And you're also going to get notifications if they send out a coupon to the people that are following them. So keep that in mind. If you see a store you really like, definitely click on that heart. So let's start here with the first item. You know I love puppets. I just did an entire video on puppets to be on the lookout for, and some of them go for crazy money. This one right here is so cute. It's from 1980. Finger Puppet Monkey Mitt. Five Little Penguins and Snowmen. Look how stinking cute this is. Look, it's adorable. Monkey Mitt. Have you ever seen a monkey mitt? Now, did this go for crazy big money? No, it did not, but uh, let's see what she paid for it. She paid, oh no, I think I cut it off. Oh, well, shuckers. Hang on just a second here. Goodness me. Goodness me. Let me find the message from her and I can find out what it sold for. Okay, the 1980 Finger Puppet paid $1.50 at a thrift store and sold it for a best offer of $21. The next item is this vintage wall-mounted brass soap dish. Just kind of an unexpected item that most of you, including myself, may not pick up. And I wanted to share this with you. This one she got at a garage sale for $1 and sold it for full asking price of $16.95. Okay, a conch shell. Does anybody know about selling conch shells? They sell. They actually do sell. This one is about 9 inches by 6 inches. And she got this at a garage sale for $5 and sold it for $19.95. So she did pay up a little bit for it, but sometimes you can pick these up really cheap. So that is a good return on the money. We've got this monkey and it is a jelly cat. If you have not seen my video on jelly cat, definitely check it out. Some of them go for crazy money, like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So jelly cat is a great bread and butter brand, but it is also a big money brand. I pick every jelly cat I find up because they all eventually sell. This right here, she paid 49 cents at the Goodwill and sold it for $32 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage, or I'm sorry, this antique Victorian deep wall, well walnut oval frame. Now, one thing about childhood finds is she likes to sell frames. 
which these are things that I would stay very, very far away from. Um, it's funny how you look at what other people sell and they sometimes have these things that they are drawn to. Well, this is one of her things. And she sold this for full asking price of $44.95 and she picked it up at a thrift store for $3. So go check her out for more unique things that she sells that maybe you don't sell. The Beatles Abbey Road album cover woven tapestry throw blanket. Tapestry, tapestry. I think it's tapestry. <laughs> I always forget. Uh, paid $6.49 at the Goodwill and sold for asking price of $44.95 plus shipping. Oh, here is another item that you could not pay me. You could not pay me to sell a mirror. I think I sold a mirror one time and I was like, never again. I was terrified. Like, how do you ship a mirror? Um, Childhood Finds, if you're watching this, can you do a video, a tutorial of how you ship a mirror? Because bah, that's so scary. Uh, and it wasn't even a big money mirror. Like, if I'm going to ship a mirror, it better be like over a $1,000. <laughs> because how scary um paid five dollars i think at a garage sale and sold it for a best offer of 35 dollars. so i would definitely love to see a video on how to ship a mirror another mirror vanity swivel mirrors brass colored metal art nouveau, nouveau floral rose vintage i know you guys are all excited that i got that word right nouveau um i'm remembering that one pretty excited about that paid two dollars at saint vincent's thrift store and sold it for a best offer of 38 plus shipping and it's just really 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 fancy here look at all that detail oh look at that edge the next item is this mighty morphin power rangers he is the white ranger special edition auto morphin 1995 and she got this guy in a bulk buy bulk bag buy cost probably 20 cents into him and sold for 56.91 plus shipping the cat in the hat from 1957 first edition third issue dr seuss so we know that a lot of the doctor well not a lot five or six of them got um not banned but they're no longer being issued and you cannot sell them on ebay so banned is not the correct word i was informed um, they're no longer being, they're no longer in production and you cannot sell them on eBay. So stay away from those. But this one is just the cat in the hat and it is okay. But look at the condition of this. And she was able to sell this for, I want to say she took a best offer of $55 and she got it at the Salvation Army for a dollar. So I don't know about you, but I probably would not even have looked twice at this and it sold for $55. This is the Diana uh, Gabaldon, Gabaldon Voyager first edition, first printing hardcover Outlander series. This one, she paid $4 at the thrift store. She got um, an Outlander and Dragonfly in Amber. Sold This one sold for $45. Best offer. Luigi's Mansion. This is for GameCube. I have done really well with GameCube. I always look those up. This one, she said a small bulk buy at a garage sale about a dollar into this game and sold for $74.95 plus shipping. This is a Carhartt jacket. Um, Carhartt does pretty well. Looks like this one is pre-owned, but it still has the tags, the original tags, and it's a larger size. So um, going to be harder to find and could possibly go for more money because of that. She got this at a local charity shop for $7.50 and took a best offer of $60. All right, this next one is an ornate footed vanity tray. It is vintage abalone shell butterfly inlay. Look at that. Wow, that is stunning, really. Uh, this one she got at and a state sale for one dollar and sold it for 65 plus shipping i like how she sources cheap all right Ver velda morby oil painting in frame vintage nevada art mostly yellow flowers got for free from my mother-in-law and sold for full asking price of 115 plus shipping this is a napoleon in europe epic strategy board game soldiers from 2002 eagle game Missing the dice or no dice. Uh, paid a dollar at a garage sale and sold it for $109.95 
plus shipping. And that's what the uh, instructions look like. It looks like it's unpunched, but missing the dice, unfortunately. This is a vintage 1985 Mattel Barbie classic convertible car remote control, and it works. How cool is that? Paid five bucks at a garage sale. Took a best offer of $77.67 plus shipping. New Capital Recording, Lewis Prima Keeley Smith Collection, Sam Beretta box set, eight CDs. So this is a CD set. Would you have picked it up or walked right past it? I am guilty of walking past these things. Now, this one is sealed. So being that it was sealed, I probably would have grabbed it if I saw it somewhere just because I do pick up media that is sealed that I do not have to test. She got this at an estate sale for $1 and it sold for full asking price of $159.96. Here is the Dragonfly in Amber. This one is a first printing, first edition, 1992 hardcover. This one, she paid $4 at the same thrift store she got the Outlander and sold this for $145 plus shipping. Here is a Roman Brever, Brever, I can't say it, Breverary in English, Aud, um, Autumn Volume 1950, Benzinger Brothers. And this, I, I'm not sure what this is, but it says she paid 99 cents at a local thrift store and sold it for a best offer of 125. I don't know. Is it, hmm. It kind of looks like a Bible, but it's maybe it's a. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe it's Catholic. Is it Catholic? Roman breviary. I'm not sure. But $125. This is an antique pie crust frame Art Nouveau, early 20th century. See pictures, read description. She got this for free from her mother-in-law and sold it for full asking price of $174.95. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, also known as Childhood Finds on YouTube and eBay and pretty much everything else. Uh, today, my bolo is this antique pie crust frame. I got this for free from my mother-in-law, but I have sold others in the past. This one is a it's a 10 by 16 that it would fit and it's likely 1880s to 1920s roughly and I sold it for $175. It sold in about 12 hours. The big thing when you look at pie crusts, you're going to look at these corners. These are hand sculpted out of a material called gesso and it starts with a just basic wooden frame and then they would sculpt this onto it. So this is more than just a frame. It's a piece of art, and this is my bolo. This is a Lucky Strike Bowling White Mountain 2010 Jigsaw Puzzle, 1,000 pieces, and it is new old stock. And she paid 99 cents at the Salvation Army and sold it for a best offer of $150. This is a Staub La Cococo Cast Iron French Dutch Oven. I don't know what it's called. That's what it looks like. Here it is. Uh, let's get the side here for you. This is what it looks like. Never seen one of these. Would have had no idea it was worth money. She got this for a dollar in a small town charity thrift store and sold it for 125 best offer. Another Outlander book. This one is, again, she paid four bucks at a local animal rescue and sold it for $215 plus shipping. The next item is this Rugger. M77 Boat Paddle Skeleton Zytel Short Action Read and See Pictures. What? Um, she said her fiance helped her with this one. Paid $10 at a garage sale and took a best offer of $350 for that. I'm still not even sure what this thing is. But yeah, it's big money. That's what it is. And she had some other of those that she sold as well for big money. Alcoholics Anonymous, first edition, 13th printing. Yes, if you can find the AA books, some of them go for big money. Alcoholics Anonymous books, bow low. This one she paid $2.50 for at St. Vincent's Thrift Store and took best offer of $505. So super shout out to Childhood Finds. You guys go show her some love with a sub. She is a bolo finder with unique and different items that you may be walking past. 
Um, give her a sub over there. Give her a follow on eBay. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you like this style of videos. Um, I like to randomly pick people sometimes and just be like, hey, can I feature your store? And it helps them grow their channels and it helps them um, get eyes on their eBay store. And she is a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And if you would like to join memberships, this is not a part of memberships. This is just something I do from time to time. But there are perks for memberships. So it does help you get exposure to your YouTube channel and your eBay store. So definitely check that out. There's a join button down below that has a little video that tells you what you get for each level. So thank you so much for being here. And thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please go down and subscribe to Childhood Finds. Let's see how many subs we can get her. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I hit record. <laughs> I was eating blueberries and I'm checking my teeth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We'll put that at the end in the bloopers.